MCU drops tomorrow, and this is how we're gonna make coins. If you're trying to get the most coins for your dollar, make sure to check out MOEXP. Link is in the description. Use code JackB for 5% off. Feel free to skip the next like five minutes. I'm just going over all the cards, my opinions on them. Uh, if you guys aren't interested in that, just skip ahead and you'll be able to go to all the coin stuff. All right, boys, welcome back to another video. And this is actually a really important one because this is how we're gonna make all our coins. Uh, doing the Campus Hero promo. First, I just want to show you some of the cards that I like and uh, how the promo is going to work because that's going to help us understand how to make coins in this promo because I kind of want to teach you how to do this in the future rather than just tell you exactly what I'm doing, but I will tell you exactly what I'm doing. So first off, we have the Sim Tebow. He's going to be free, 87 overall. Uh, nothing crazy, but I'm probably going to use him for a little bit just for fun. Trevor Lawrence is probably better with quick draw and stuff. So, uh, you know, nothing Nothing too crazy about that. Then we'll go over the 90 overall champions. Michael Crabtree, this card is gonna be insane. I'm pretty sure that's one AP slot apprentice. If we're outside apprentice, I don't know which exactly which one, but he's gonna be nuts. His speed is crazy, 89. And low key, bro, 49ers or Raiders theme team, especially Raiders is looking crazy right now. I can't even lie. Uh, Derek Johnson also on the Raiders theme team. Uh, he's just Raiders and Chiefs chem and he is great stats for middle linebacker i don't know if he's actually usable because of lurker he probably should be uh but we'll see i might i might try him out tomorrow uh i don't know exactly yet and then now the 87 is nelson Aguilar. obviously he's my boy on the patriots i'm probably gonna pick him up but i'll tell you later i'm probably gonna pick all these guys up i don't know exactly what the plan is gonna be 100 but i mean i have my plan it's just whether or not it'll be be able to execute um like efficiently uh carl bank second finesse move horrible but it's probably a solid card i'm not really gonna be too into it same with shaq barry i mean he's probably a little bit better than carl banks um obviously his strength isn't as good but uh he's a speed rusher so it's not really too important it is always nice to have some old linemen and uh after that center we're, we're probably gonna eventually make a full campus heroes team that's all i'll say another middle linebacker solid but obviously with the new uh 90 overall he's not really too anything special brandon cooks i think this card's really good and i'm probably gonna add him to my team uh he, he looks great and he's fast so that's all that really matters uh grant delpit also looks good i think his acrobat is still 5 ap though um if it's discounted to four it's not as bad but 5 ap is, is a little too much for me although the card looks great i, I can't lie 89 zone coverage and 88 speed 88 excel i think is really good darquise dennard looks solid i mean nothing too much to say he is a corner but nothing crazy uh once again another offensive lineman always gonna be helpful uh alan fanenka another offensive lineman gonna be helpful mike hilton looks solid uh, i think he goes on steelers chem too so that's pretty cool if you guys are rocking a Bengals or steelers theme team naheem hines looks solid he's gonna be a good pass catching back because with the 84 catching so honestly having him as like a secondary running back could be really good especially if you can get him for free uh now we got mark ingram 87 solid he is short and elite which is pretty cool that's about it keith jackson another tight end is always going to be useful uh because you get three of them in certain formations if you want to run you can run three tight ends and you can always put them at fullback too uh, and that's the eagles so sydney jones this card actually looks pretty good um especially if you guys want to build a seahawks theme team you get that free 88 corner uh in the competitive pass and sydney jones those are both gonna be two really good corners mark shorner also looks really good i think he gets a deep zone knockout uh he has great zone coverage he has even solid man coverage he's decently fast so i think that card's definitely gonna be solid too marks Mariota. we already have so many quarterbacks but he he looks great his, his stats actually look way better than tebow's but that's just my opinion Derek mason once again another solid card a lot of these cards are just super solid you know nothing crazy uh this card looks like he he could be really good though he's decently fast and he's pick artist for 2ap i love pick artists i'll probably be able to pick him up at some point and he obviously gets Raiders chem, so you can boost that, the speed and everything with a Raiders theme team. DeMarco Murray, once again, solid. Haloti Nada, he's probably going to be really good. Uh, you don't need too much speed or finesse move. I think he'll be able to get through the line pretty quickly. He's normally, he, his body type and game is normally crazy. Manuel Agba, another card. He's going to be solid. This card looks really, really good, though. Like, he is fast. He has decent finesse move. He, uh... Still a solid power move and block shit and everything. I think this card is definitely going to be a pickup uh, if you need an end cat to tackle. And we're almost done here. There's a lot of cards. Robert Quinn, 87. Junior Seau, 87. I'm going to be picking him up for my Patriots theme team when I eventually build it. Uh, Penasuel, always nice to have another offensive lineman. 
you guys don't have a free offensive lineman, recommend getting him. Even though I think Lane Johnson's in the game now. Uh, Lavisha Chenault, once again, solid, but he's not on the Jaguars anymore, which is pretty funny. But they didn't, they didn't know that. Will Shields, I'm definitely going to be picking him up. I need a right guard, and he's going to be higher overall than the one I have right now for free. Jim Taylor, once again, I think he'll be solid uh, as a free card, especially. It's always nice to have a good fullback. Chase Young, this card actually looks pretty good. Uh, you would like his power move to at least be above 80 for the threshold, but uh, he's a speed rusher, so he could be really solid. And obviously a left tackle, nothing too crazy, but uh, I expect it to be pretty good. And so if you guys skipped ahead, this is where the coin making method stuff starts. So I have tons of training. I think it's still a good time to invest in training. I'll show you the filters uh, after I you know, get off the internet and all this stuff. But I think doing this set could be really good just for your team because a lot of these 87s are pretty solid. And me personally, I think I might just full send it depending upon the prices. And I'm expecting to get every single 87, so all 32 and have them in my team because once again, it's first of all it's just a cool thing to just collect all the cards and then uh maybe i'll keep them in my binder and everything over time which i think will be will be pretty cool uh to look back at the end of the year also these cards are very relevant right now 87 overalls are very very good if you have an 87 overall team you're probably one of the best teams in the game uh because we just finally hit the 90 cap and i'm assuming these guys you will be able to sell them for pretty expensive especially right when the promo comes out like luckily i'll be on right when it comes out because it's coming out on thursday instead of friday which is nice for me personally but probably not the rest of you and uh so i'm gonna be trying to complete the set uh if it's profitable early and even if I can just break even on the 90, getting 30 free 87 overalls, in my opinion, is just absolutely crazy. And that's what I plan on doing. Even if I lose about like 200K after doing 30 or even 300K after doing 30, I still think it's a great deal to get 30 87 overalls. But if you're losing coins, I probably won't do all 30 or 32 because uh, it's not really necessary to get 30 if some of them are the same positions. Like there's no need to get two left guards or two right tackles or even like if I already have a good D tackle, another 2D tackle and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing. All right, so as you guys may know, if you've been keeping up the account, I was at over 4 million coins and you should probably see I have 2 million coins and that is not a lot of coins. But the reason being is because I invest a lot into training. Uh, I have a few of the guys just in my lineup, but after all that, I have tons of training. I buy mostly 83s just because they're the cheapest. I've also been snagging 82s if they're super cheap because eventually I'm going to put them in the all Madden set uh, after the promo releases tomorrow because I assume that uh, cards will start to rebound once they see how expensive the 90 overalls are or, you know, if people want to really buy do the Raider Steam team, maybe they really want Ronnie Lott or Warren Sapp or one of those guys and they start rising a lot in price. So I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow to do the set with the 82s, but I'm hoping that I can keep buying more, maybe build about two of the 82 sets uh, by getting 60, 82 totals and then uh, just, you know, sniping tons more 83s because if I can, I'm investing all 4 million coins into this. I think training is going to go crazy because the 87 overalls, like people are want to get gonna want to get those cards especially for theme teams and just you know for the free end cats that is crazy the new 90 overalls are also nuts so personally i still think buying training at around like 21 per is still really good i think worst case scenario you can just lazy sell it tomorrow uh there is ltds and rerolls too and there's gonna be rerolls i can guarantee it and here's the deal there's a chance that there's an 87 guaranteed reroll that obviously costs like a little bit more than 87s, which will be interesting because that means that it's gonna be super easy to build the 90 overalls. But just because there's an 87 reroll, my my uh, personal belief is that if there is an 87 guaranteed reroll, which like I said, there could be because there's 32 87s, there's so many of them, is that because of an 87 reroll, especially if it's repeatable in limited times, the price of training will literally go up so high that the cheapest training is going to end up being those 87s because if it's not then you can just do that unlimited times build the set unlimited times and basically make unlimited coins so if there is an 87 roll those 87s are going to end up being the cheapest training and all 80 all all the cheapest training around 83s 81s 84s 85s are all going to skyrocket like more than you can even imagine, I expect. And I think it's already a safe investment knowing that there's gonna be rerolls in general. On top of knowing that there's rerolls, there's gonna be LTDs, at least one LTD. 
possibly two. I think it's just gonna be one. Like even that one LTD is enough to get people to just roll a ton. And there we go. We pick up a Kyler Murray for 12.25. Buying these for under 13.5 is absolutely insane because I have so many coins. I'm just trying to get them for under like 14.5, more more like 14k. But if I get super lazy, get them for like around four, under 14.5. Um, but like I said, ideally you guys don't have as many coins most likely, and uh, you guys should just pick these up for 13.5 or under, uh, maybe 14 if you really want. But uh, yeah, I just think that it's too good to be true you guys need to pick up training uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video basically i the main points possibly the 87 reroll we can reroll the 87s with all our training get so many nk 87s for free after we sell off the 90 overalls after tax you know maybe break even at before tax and you know we lose like 30 to 40k every time we do five but like i said that's not that bad considering you're getting five free 87 that are going to go into your team and be very relevant for the next few weeks um other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and peace out